Hey guys, welcome to part 3 of Let's Play Spire of the Dragon, Air of the Dragonfly. Uh, last part we cleared up half of the, uh, the Dragonfly Dojo, and we are going to uh, go to Bonsai Speedway, which I remember the name now, which is in Dragonfly Dojo. Okay, so Sparks is saying right here, Bonsai Speedway is home to the most peaceful chorus in, in, in the East. They offer two challenges here, a peaceful obstacle chorus or a race against the, uh, the Ninja Rip, uh, Rip Talks have taken over the place. So we have uh, two choices here, you can do the timed attack or race the ninja. So we're going to do time attack first. And basically, a time attack is just the same thing that you have to do in all the, uh, all the Spyro games. One, two, three. Um, I will say that I am a little disappointed that they didn't add uh, like the side challenges, like where you can find Hunter in, in one of the speedways, and you can do those fun little mini challenges they did in Spyro 3. But I really enjoy the speedways either way without Hunter or not. Um, I will say it looks really beautiful and the music, uh, it's alright. Uh, it's just not my favorite song from the soundtrack but still it's a good uh, uh, song to listen to from the soundtrack itself. And I still need to find those flying uh, ninja riptox uh, after I defeat uh, flame these lanterns. Which is also a reference uh, they brought back from Spyro 3. And I believe I missed one when I was going after these flying riptox. Uh, they did uh, make two references in the speedway. Which is the flying... No, not the flying riptox, but they made... One reference from Spyro 2, and then they and then they made another reference, which is the lanterns here from Spooky Swamp and from Spyro 3. Because basically in Spyro 3 and Spooky Swamp, you had to light up uh, the lanterns. And this is the last one I missed, isn't it? Yes, it is. Okay, so. The second reference they uh, made in here is the guys from Colossus, which is these guys right here. I think I am going to lose because due to the lack of time I had to look for the lantern and catch up with those flying Riptox, yes I did lose. It's always worth trying again though. And let's hope I don't mess this up again. Alright, so we're gonna do the rings first. And then uh, flying riptops. Oh gosh, I got myself stuck. That's pleasant. Oh no, I missed one. No, I missed another. Okay. I'm sure I'm able to run a, uh, run into those two riptops in just about a minute. There we go. There's one. And there's two. Alright, so let's go after these guys. Oh, I missed them. Now let's just go over after these guys. I still have a bit of time to do lanterns. Oh gosh, I got myself stuck in supercharge. How am I running when I'm stuck? I don't see how that works. I told you guys this game is glitchy. Oh gosh, that looks so awkward. Okay, I freed myself from it. Perfect. Alright, let's make a big U-turn around here for these lanterns. Oh gosh, when I got stuck in that supercharge, that was really awkward. Oh my goodness. Wow. I just have... I don't know. Well, let's just continue uh, like lighting up these lanterns. 
and I should have the time attack finished uh, by then. Alright, so I got two more to go. And the last one is over here. Perfect. And we completed it with 14 seconds. And let's not try again and grab our dragonfly as the reward. Hooray, you won a dragonfly for defeating the time trial. There's no stopping us now. And there was a voice glitch in there. Basically, the dragonfly we got for the you know, for the time attack was Ra Rashomon or something like it. I don't know if I pronounced the dragonfly's name right. But the next challenge we're going to do is race uh, the flying Riptox. So basically, it, you know, it goes for the same deal as Spyro 3 to uh, pretty much. You just got to fly the, uh, through, the wing, uh, through the rings. And if you uh, miss a ring uh, by accident, then that means you're just... Uh, uh, how can I explain it? Like, uh, the race from missing like a flag or something like it. I don't know. Alright, so let's get these two here and we can get the star. They also brought back the blue stars and the uh, rockets from Spyro 3. And I think they were in Spyro 2. I can't remember exactly if they were in Sp Actually, no, they weren't in Spyro 2 because they didn't have the races in Spyro 2. It would have been cool they did, though. Alright, so let's grab this star here. And we're on the second lap. Third place. We're doing pretty good so far. Unless we can catch up the second. And then go past uh, the Rip Talk that's in first place. And they did take out the lanterns uh, for the race here. It makes sense, though, because you don't want to bump into any lanterns while you're racing, obviously. That would just be tragic and sad, unfortunately. Okay, so now we're on the third lap now. Holy moly, we're just uh, going through this race really quickly now. I just realized that. And I realized I'm missing a blue star somewhere for speed boost. Oh, I missed it right there. I might lose if I don't catch up fast enough. Oh my goodness. Alright, let's see if we can catch up. Yes, we're in second. We're doing a little better. Nope, we're gonna lose because obviously that first rip talk just went in through the flag right there. So we did manage to catch up. So I now know there is another star that I did miss in that race, which I should be able to fly through once we try again. Alright, so let's start over. Let's go up here. Oh my gosh, I almost don't bump into that. That was, that would be really tragic. If I, oh no, 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 no. I don't want to be, okay. I almost missed that ring for a second. I got really scared for one minute. Oh my gosh. Thank goodness I did not miss that. If I did miss that uh, uh, ring, I would have been really upset at that point. All right, so let's grab this rocket right here. Let's just go through here so we can get into the second uh, lap. Okay, there's a star here somewhere. There it is. Perfect. We're doing a little better this time. I'm hoping we'll uh, get up to first place a lot better than the first time was. Alright, let's just shoot that rocket. And miss that first rip talk in front of us. to stop this guy from getting the star. Yes! And I obviously got that. Second place, we're doing really good. Oh, don't miss it, don't miss it! Okay, there we go. We didn't miss it. And let's go through here. This is mine, buddy. 
Yes, we got to first place. Oh my gosh. I thought we would have to go through a serious struggle in order to get the first. Oh my goodness. It only was the second try. Not too bad. And we won, so we don't want to try again, and we will say no to that. Those ninjas were so embarrassed after being whipped uh, by a dragon, they dropped this dragonfly trying to run away. That'll teach them. Hey, it's Yojimbo. What the heck is Yo uh, Yojimbo? Yo Yo I can't say that name right. I have nothing to say that name. It's so hard to pronounce. But anyway, that is Bonsai uh, uh, Speedway complete, and we are done in this level, so we'll just leave uh, the level. But that doesn't mean we're done with uh, Dragonfly Dojo. We still need to finish up on Dragonfly Dojo. However, uh, Dragonfly Dojo will not be 100% completed due to the fact that we still need to get the ice uh, uh, breath for the baby dragons. There we go. Oh no, I encountered a glitch. Okay. No, no, no. That was weird. I encountered a glitch the minute I tried uh, moving. That was just really weird. Alright, so let's finish up uh, a bit more here in Dragonfly Dojo. I know I got all the gems in this area from the enemies. So let's just grab this here. Okay, there's a basket on the other side, so we can just go down here, pick these gems up. Okay, there's a red talk up here. I just don't want to get hit. And there's another gem basket right here. Grab these here before we free the elder or the dragon master. I don't know why I call the dragon uh, here the dragon elder. It's because probably I haven't played Heroes Taylor for a while, and there is money bag, so let's free the dragon master first. And we have free jet. And we got two more free. Ah, Spyro. In trouble again, I see. What a surprise. Dragons in danger or something like that? Well, you'll have to pay me 200 gems to cross this mighty large chasm to reach any of the other dojos. Although I may be practicing compassion, money still has my soul. Okay, that is kind of bringing like a reference from Spooky Swamp or somewhere in Spyro 3 because Moneybag's something about haiku. I don't know if it is, but basically this is the only level you'll find in Moneybags and that is Dragonfly Dojo. I was expecting Moneybags maybe to be in, in like two levels. But hey, as long as I get to see uh, money bags from Spyro two and th uh, from Spyro two and three into uh, Dragonfly, I am happy. So we'll need to pay him two hundred gems, which I have. Thanks, Spyro. These gems are music to my ears and will do wonders as inspiration for my poetry. But look, Spyro. Even I know some magic when properly motivated. At least you're not using the switch. And that's one thing. Alright, do you have anything else to say? 
Thanks, Spire. Nah, that's the same thing as usual. And it looks like he's wearing a kimono as well, by the looks of, the, of his uh, design. First time uh, seeing Moneybags wearing a kim in kimono. Alright, so there is a dragon there that can be freed. I'm going to finish up this area before gliding to the other side. And I should be ending this part soon. Alright guys, so I'm going to end the part right here. I will see you guys in the next part where we will finish up Dragonfly Dojo.